Hi, this is Stephen from uh, Own or Disown. Today we're going to be looking at the Phoenix 3HR by Garmin. It's a fully loaded smartwatch um, that can not only just do uh, smart uh, notifications like regular smartwatches from your, from your cell phone, but it's uh, full of outdoor features such as for swimming, hiking, running, um, cycling I believe, skiing, rowing, golf courses. Um, so it, uh, it's also excellent at uh, fitness. Um, it's got a, an inbuilt heart rate monitor, uh, which uh, can you know, measure uh, your, how your stress, um, you know, it gives you a performance score. It monitors your heart rate uh, throughout the day continuously. It also has got advanced running modes, uh, measuring the degree of bounce you do in, uh, in, your, in your step and measuring your stride length. It measures um, how long your feet touch the ground, for instance. It has GPS and GLONASS support in here, um, a barometer, a compass. So um, you can uh, use it for navigation, looking at the weather, uh, that type of thing. And uh, it's about $600. Um, you can also use a, a chest strap for it from Garmin, um, which I think would bring it up to about $650. There is a cheaper version available, which is the Phoenix 3, uh, that doesn't have the inbuilt heart rate uh, sensor. Uh, but uh, we're going to be looking at this one, and then another video will do a separate uh, review of it, uh, just to give you a bit more of, uh, insight and perhaps uh, comparison to some other watches uh, that I have. All right, thank you. All right, so here's a brief uh, overview of the uh, Garmin Phoenix 3 HR watch. It's a fully featured packed watch. It's got lots of sensors in it. Um, it's got a, a barometer, uh, a GPS, electronic compass, heart rate monitoring. And uh, so who is it for? Well, this is for a very active person. I wouldn't say it's for a casual user. Um, it's for somebody who likes doing a lot of exercise, both indoor and outdoor. Uh, for people who want accurate readings with the GPS, um, it says water resistant to 100 meters. So people who like to do um, a range of activities, including water sports, um, climbing, hiking, walking, cycling. There are about a dozen activities this watch keeps excellent track of, and uh, I will uh, go through those here. Um, it is a, is a fantastic watch. It's a solidly built watch. It's quite thick, but not uncomfortably so. It's a heavy watch. Um, it's solid, so it's certainly uh, you know it's built to last. Made out of uh, stainless steel. Um, the biggest problems perhaps now with us all uh, li uh, using touchscreen devices, we do get uh, used to trying to touch the screen to change things, which is not the case here. We do have uh, three buttons here and two buttons here. The top one here is for a light. Uh, this is an up button, down button. This one is for selecting and uh, starting applications, and uh, this one is to go back. So there are quite a few buttons, and I must admit from time to time it is, does get a bit confusing. You get a little bit mixed up, but the more you use it, the more used to uh, you uh, do getting it. So um, to show you the, some of the uh, activities it keeps track of, you, press, uh, you can press uh, this button here. Hold on. There you go. Um, so, um, so biking. Um, I've tested this uh, biking outdoors. Um, you press the down button to scroll through. So biking indoors, swimming outside. I've done a test doing uh, swimming uh, outside. So I'll show you that. Um, now you're on the open water. SUP, that's the um, paddle boating. I did do some uh, paddling, so I'll, I got a little bit of footage of that. And the rowing, indoor rowing. I don't do any of the triathlons. You can find your phone like um, any connected device. So it does connect by Bluetooth to your, um, your phone using the uh, Garmin Connect app. I've got some footage uh, doing golf. And uh, it was very good in golf. I was very impressed with that. The screen is very easy to see outside, which is very important for golf. Um, stress score, I didn't do that, but uh, obviously just connected with your heart rate. And I've got some footage of walking, 
just general walking, measuring the, the GPS accuracy and, uh, and so forth. So that uh, takes us to that now, obviously to click that to go back. Pressing uh, this button here, takes us through some of our activities, so how many steps we've done, um, inclines, it goes to the, the weather, the weather information is uh, taken from your phone. It does have a bowometer, so it'll show you that along with the uh, the altitude. So the, the weather, of course, shows you the temperature, the high, low, the, the precipitation. In fact, if we go back to that, if you press that button there, it'll, go, it'll take you through the, uh, the hourly, and you can scroll down so you can see what it's like going to be the rest of the week. I think that's uh, that's pretty useful to see. Um, this next one takes us to notifications. Um, notifications uh, is a whole list of them on the Connect app, which you can choose to get. Now, the unfortunate thing with the, the notifications is uh, you can see them. You know, you can scroll down and read it. You know, but you can't you can't do anything with it. So basically, it's just a a window to your phone saying, hey, I've got something, and that's pretty much it, really. Um, so same with in fact, all the notifications. You can't reply back to anything or anything like that, which is a shame. I think, yeah, that would be nice, but that's the way it is. Um, so the next uh, screen shows you the, the compass and uh, shows you the uh, altimeter, and uh, you calibrate it, and it, uh, you know, yeah, I think uh, well, the, it's based uh, the ultimate is based on the the, the barometer. So <laughs> you could be sitting still, standing still, and uh, the weather changes, and you uh, according, according to the watch, you are changing your your altitude. So I think if you're going for a walk or a hike, and you that's important to you, you've got to um, calibrate it at the position you are at the time. Um, be wary that it'll change as the weather changes. So um, so you can scroll down. Hold on. It's good. Let's uh, press select on that, and it'll show us uh, what it is there with a the period of time, uh, the barometer, which is quite handy. If certainly if in the same location, you can then see if it's uh, going to be uh, perhaps uh, some rainfall or something like that. And you press it, go down again, and you get the uh, the compass. All right, so we go back, takes us to that. Then you've got the, um, the heart rate. It's constantly measuring your heart rate, which is, I think is very handy. Um, it's according to that saying it's uh, 76 is my heart rate, and it's not even on my, uh, on my wrist. So that's, uh, that's rather peculiar. But um, I think to get a good reading of your heart rate, it's, uh, it's good to have a, uh, uh, a good connection to your wrist. So you, 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 you attach it fairly snugly. I think that's true with all devices. Accuracy-wise, I'd say this is fairly accurate. I've compared it to a, uh, a heart strap uh, um, monitor and it, uh, you know, it's, it's 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 within five to ten beats, so depending on what you're doing. Um, but it, uh, that was pretty good. Um, you press the, 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 the that button there, and it uh, brings out a graph of what you're doing there. And uh, that's pretty much it there. So let's go back. Um, let's go through these again. Let's see, heart rate. And then it's got your steps. This is during the day. Obviously, I mean, I, had, I haven't had my watch on, so, um, you know, so zero steps there. But if you're wearing it all the time, that'll keep track of that, and it shows you what how many calories you've, you've burnt in the day. Interestingly, mine says I've burnt uh, nearly 1,000 calories, and I haven't done any steps, so I don't know how that, <laughs> how that one comes about. But there you go. You press that, and it uh, just gives you a bit more information. Um, then it takes you to your um, your last uh, workout. Um, so my last workout was a cycle ride, and it gives you some good uh, pertinent information there. Nice. Uh, what I like about it, it's certainly nice, clear screen, and the um, information is all at hand there. So it's very easy to spot, particularly if you're doing a sport like on this cycling. You know, it's you know you're, you're taking your hand off your your handlebars to check it out, and it gives you the average speed, the time taken, the distance, and you can go into uh, into more details um, of, the, of it there. So I did like 3.8 miles, and it uh, tells you the time, the average speed. Let's go back up. The average speed, your max speed, um, the average heart rate, your max heart rate, how far you've gone, uh, change the altitude, and uh, how much you've descended. So I think that's quite useful. 
That's nice. And so all, all of this information is said uh, recorded on your um, on your phone. Uh, there's also a little map there which uh, then shows you your route you've taken. And I find this is quite handy if you're out for a walk and uh, you want to go back, perhaps uh, to find out where you are. You might you might have lost your, you forgot where you started from. You can you can backtrack or battle through the bush to uh, get back to your start point. So. And the GPS is very accurate in this. It's really good. Really accurate. There you can do like a track back, uh, as I just mentioned there. Um, so that's uh, was pretty. Uh, that is pretty good. So then we go back to the uh, to the watch. It's a little bit slow. You press it, and there's a bit of a delay. As you probably noticed there. You might think it's me be, <laughs> being a bit impatient, but it's not. Um, so let's have a look. It's uh, so a lot of it. Uh, you can change a lot on your um, on your phone as well. So you need to get the uh, app installed on your phone. Um, so we're connected, and it's actually there's a number of apps you can do on here, which is nice. So you can change uh, watch faces. There's a, a lot of popular applications. So um, let's have a look here. So you can have like uh, mapping. So if you want to create routes, you're going out for a hike or a cycle or something, you do that uh, on your phone or your computer, I believe. And then uh, you've got this app, and then it'll send the old information to your watch. And that's uh, other than that, you, you won't need your, your watch. I mean, it's got a standalone GPS in it. It's got the map loaded onto it. And uh, the same applies to the golf. If you um, you need your phone initially for, to, to download the, the first course, but that's seamless. It happens straight away. Uh, and thereafter it's loaded in so uh, that is fantastic there's various of course running cycling uh, apps uh, so fitness uh, type apps swimming and so forth finding my car another maps this is probably uh, it links it with um, google maps so that is good so if you'd want to do a bit of navigating uh, but it is all activity based you know generally you know so hiking and tides and so forth and but there's quite a few Apps there. So, but it's good that you can change your watch faces and uh, whatever widgets on there if you want, like the, the world clock and, uh, and everything. So, I think in that regard, it's quite good. The actual app itself is also very good. Um, there's a lot of screens you can see by all the dots there, but uh, it gives a good summary page. And then as you scroll through, it uh, you know shows your graphs of your steps. Um, sleeping, um, I didn't. The um, thing is, I, I, well, I haven't been wearing it all the time, and of course, it records that I'm sleeping when I'm not wearing it. So it thinks I'm a good sleeper. Um, I did wear it once when I was sleeping, and it uh, didn't seem to do that very well. I think it might have been here. I think it, uh, it recorded that uh, I woke up at uh, about 11 a.m. and uh, 11 p.m. Sorry, and I was uh, I was awake thereafter. <laughs> so um, I think for sleep, it certainly failed my test. Uh, um, I won't be I won't be tracking my sleep anyhow. Uh, um, so anyway, here's a golf. Um, one thing I did like on the golf, and I'll show you on, on the video there when uh, later on, you can uh, easily add your shots. So you take uh, all your shots on the hole, add it. And it uh, enters it into into the field there, and then of course it keeps track of uh, your, your shots, your holes, um, and whatnot. So that's pretty good. And that's the cycling again, which um, I mentioned before. And I think if you want any further details, you just uh, press into the app, and it shows you. Then it shows you the the graph where you've the the, the map where you've gone, and uh, the, even the temperature was all recorded at. So it gives you all the information there, which is fantastic. Um, you click on that for more information and it you know a lot of this was available on the watch which is great because a lot of these activity trackers you can't see it on your watch but here a lot of it is actually on the watch which I think is, is very good um, and you know, that shows you graphs of your speed if you uh, want to look at that and of course your your heart rate which is very very good showing you the average so if you, if you want uh, a lot of information on your activities and see if you're getting, if you are improving. I think this is a standout feature. It's a standout watch for that. I mean, without a doubt. Um, paddling here, 
uh, shows you you know the the distance you uh, actually this is sorry the swimming um shows you the distance you swam and uh, i mean the gps act was great on it no problem at all um no problem with getting wet it, 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 was, it was perfect um so it shows you again how many calories you've done shows you on a little map what you've done there this was in a little lake i swam in um so no it's it's, uh, it's pretty sweet and shows you your pace you know so it's all very useful information it's got like a intensity uh, measurement your weight i only put my start weight but uh, if you want to uh, lose lose weight and track that it'll uh, the app will do all of that as well um i did do a test on running a friend of mine did it because i i can't run because of my bad back but um i got some footage of that and uh, doing the running and it's back to the summary page so uh, all in all i think it's it's it's, it's a fantastic uh, fantastic watch um so to conclude it there just on the on, on the features again it's it's got, it's got the heart rate monitoring measures it constantly yeah um, the gps uh, it's great for tracking the distance uh, it shows you your route on a map tracks your speed very well the barometer obviously measures helps measure the weather and the altitude it's got multiple uh, activities um both indoor and outdoor you can do measuring the steps yeah, and your calories your average heart rate uh, distance traveled that type of thing so um, um i would say to conclude on this uh, on this watch it's a it's a fantastic piece of kit it's expensive it's about 600 dollars um with uh with tax making it's about 650 but if you're really serious about uh, your uh, activities it's certainly something to get and um i think uh, you know i i rec- i do recommend it Okay, thank you, and, and uh, stay tuned, and I'll show you some uh, some uh, videos of uh, of the activities taking place.